After my two-hour flight, I finally arrived to my destination, Latvia, most famous for their tallest women, fast internet, and being the inventors of the Pringle shape? What? Having my dad as a tour guide, we're exploring the capital, Riga. The first thing on our list is the Ghetto Museum. Supported fully by donations, it creatively displays the hardships of being a Jew during the times when Germany decided to dominate the whole world. Next stop is the Central Market, where you'll find anything and everything to satisfy your desires or hunger. And of course, a bouquet of flowers for your upset wife. Since this is the morning, I of course wanted to sip on a morning hot beverage. And I decided to try the Latvian Starbucks, aka Caffeine, which you can find all around the city and even at the airport. Both coffees were that approved. And the vibe of the place checks out. So after a quick tinkle, we headed to the old town. Riga was once called the Winter Paris by the Soviets because of its style of architecture that has actually nothing to do with Paris. The German Art Nouveau, or Jugendstil, is what Riga is most known for, having very detailed naked ladies displayed on buildings. Other than looking at the buildings all around, we visited all the main sites, the Riga Cathedral, the Bremen musicians standing right next to the St. Peter's Church, that you need to pay for to see the inside. The House of Blackheads. The Big and the Small Guild. The Hard-Working Sprinkler. The Underwhelming Riga Castle. Lady Liberty. The Opera House. The Three Brothers. The Cat House. The Big Onion. And the Big Cat. While my dad started to lead me into unknown destinations, mm. I started to feel a bit peckish, so we went to my all-time favorite time-tested bakery. Great atmosphere, great prices and great baked goods. We both took a small piece affected by inflation cake and it was good, but honestly I was craving an apple pie that they didn't have. They only had apple strudels. After a quick treat, we accidentally ended up at the Louvre Museum, plus witnessed a private fountain show. Hey. Where did it go? Then we stumbled upon an active protest right in front of the embassy of Russia that we full-heartedly supported. Located a bit further away from the city center is the most beautiful and richest street in Riga, Alberta Il, the cream de la creme of Jugendstil and the residency of the Baltic Germans back in the day. Plus, further along the road, I noticed too many Porsches to my liking since the inflation has tremendously affected the quality of life in Latvia. So you can see where the money is going. Anyways, we have explored most of the nooks and crannies of the city and there is one only thing left to do, which is to find a gift for my brother since he's getting married. The best thing I could think of is going to a board game store. There the options were big. After looking at some very expensive games and games I wish I had friends to play with, I locked my eyes on this monkey game. Mm, monkey. That was actually also made by Latvians. Who would have thought? Feeling tired, the fun didn't stop there. My dad was nice enough to drop me off to see my lovely long time no see friend Lido. And of course, Victoria joined. I couldn't really decide what to eat since my favorite meatballs were sold out. So I took a pork chop French style that little did I know will end up giving me food poisoning. So I'm not sure if I recommend it. And this is the footage of me hearing very juicy gossip as I was about to dive into my dessert. Starting off the day with a hot cup of coffee that I bought my dad from Frankfurt. He seems to like it. Even though apparently he drinks espresso. A note for next time. We have a big day today, for which we have to drive to the seaside of Latvia, also known as Jurmala. To enter with a car, you have to buy a ticket for 2 euros that lasts a day. Not 24 hours, but just that day. And I'm convinced that these flowers is where the budget goes. But they do look nice. Nonetheless, we have arrived early to our destination, the registry. 
And after some time waiting in the sun, my brother and his family came right on time as well. We were all focused on our mission, so we headed in. They went into the secret room without me. As I was not getting married or one of the witnesses, I was left behind like a puppy left at home. And it didn't help that they were playing Beethoven Moonlight in the background, as if it was a funeral. But after less than five minutes, they were back as changed people. And to commemorate this moment, we headed to the beach for a photo shoot. To celebrate this moment, we went to grab some food at the Lighthouse Grill Bar. With fancy food like deer meat burger, tuna steak, golden flounder, grilled tiger prawns and french fries. As I was trying to decide what to get, the baby was enjoying the all-inclusive experience. I took a mozzarella salad, taste-wise a 7, but the presentation of any of our dishes was a 10 out of 10. The newlyweds had room for dessert and it was pretty good. It was time to get our food moving in our stomachs by going on a walk around town. So me and my dad ventured on. The main street was filled with ice cream places, but little to no buyers. And in the end of the street we found this interesting leaf fountain. And a statue of the beer Terror. Plus some more flowers. Walking back we saw many typical Yurumala homes and a very suspicious looking house. And finally, the giant Baltic beach hotel with Zebanya. Not only my brother is getting married in Yurmala, but he also rented a guest house as a honeymoon getaway and he humbly insisted that I stay over. The guest house had many rooms and even more plates and cups. As a thank you, I finally presented my offering, which I think they liked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Since the parents were busy, I went on a lonesome adventure to walk 500 miles along the coastline. I don't really know how much is 500 miles, but I'm assuming like one or two hours of walking. Seems pretty doable. My final destination is to explore the Latvian little once more. Anyways, the Baltic Sea, where the shores are filled with tiny seashells, algae, and abnormally giant seagulls. The sand is as fine as the cheapest tea you find in the grocery store, and the water is as salty as Burger King's fries. Pretty bland. The sun is shining too much for my liking, so after 10 minutes of walking, I needed to take a dip. Since the water is so shallow, it takes exactly 217 seconds to get to a deep enough area to take a swim. I'm not sure if this is the smartest idea, but you know. It is how it is, my bag. My bag is fine. Ah, okay. Refreshing. Feeling hungry, I took a banana break. And threw the peel away as a responsible adult. After walking down the beach for one and a half hours looking like a white wrapper in the 2000s, I finally have to make a turn away from the beach. I went into a changing booth to change. However, I realized I lost my dress on the way. I am devastated because I can't go to Little in a swimsuit. So nothing left to do than try and go back in hopes of no one taking it or it being blown away by wind. I'm confused, mad, sad, heartbroken and worried that it's gone forever. I started running, occasionally, since my stamina is not that big. I found a trash can where I threw my banana oil. Maybe it's somewhere here? But there's no dress in sight. After almost getting back to where I started, I see something in the distance. No, could it be? Is it just trash? Lo and behold, I found it! I found it! Damn! I thought I lost it forever. I'm pretty happy. However, I don't know what to do now. Now I have to go back where I was before. So it took me about 40 minutes to get back where I was. But I'm finally here. 
So what does Latvian little has to offer? Ooh, Portuguese pastries. Don't mind if I do. So they have typical American peanut butter, big sausage, farmer's cheese treats, white cheese, Slavic dumplings, Slavic dumplings with jam, five liter bottle of water, the ice cream sausage. And last but not least, they have toilets? I have never visited a little that had a bathroom. Mind blowing. So I got home safe and sound, took a shower and while my brother was preparing dinner, I also took full advantage of the backyard trampoline. It tired me after 20 seconds. That's what she said. For dinner we had sirniki, pancakes made of farmer's cheese you can eat with jam, condensed milk and sour cream, and they tasted great. After my brother was done with his exciting crossword puzzle, we tried playing the monkey game. In the game, one person does not hear, one does not see, and the other does not speak. And together we have to build a structure based on the picture of the card. But only the one who can't speak sees the card. I recommend this game if you have never played it. Perfect for three people. And then, to finish off the night, I also taught them to play the famous game of Queens. That I could not find a tutorial on how to play this game. So, if you want to play the game, I left it in the description. You're welcome. Also note to my future self. Since my brother considers me some kind of a chef, he suggested that I should make breakfast. So with the culinary expertise, I made French toast that looked very Instagram worthy. <laughs> then my brother and I went for a morning swim to ease the heatness of the sun. <laughs> Later my dad joined the party and we all went to the Kauguru celebration. There we can find live stage performances, a lot of food, a whole market with all sorts of stuff. Coffee sold in the back of the car and a sleeping baby for sale. My dad was intrigued by the syrup made from pine cones. I also tried it and it tasted like eating a sweetened Christmas tree. Was pretty interesting. My brother went to try it as well and he ended up buying a whole jar of it. We bought some kvass, which is a beverage that tastes like sweet rye bread. We were heading back to our car when accidentally discovered a big old school car show. Many cool, still functional cars that later made a parade and we accidentally became part of it. I was determined to take another dip, this time with my dad. As my dad was split splashing in the water, he's so tiny. And he's gone. I was looking over our stuff. <laughs> then it was my turn to enjoy some of that refreshing H2O and let my inner child loose. I was starving for some food and today we're making shashlik, or some might know it as barbecue. To distract myself from the hunger, I went on the trampoline until the meat was cooked. So after about 20 minutes, everything was ready. We have some chicken and pork, some pickles, lavash, and the Armenian salad which my brother made. It was a great addition to the feast. After the meal, I took my final jumps on the trampoline and said my goodbyes. Considering tomorrow is my last day, I went and did some shopping for different kinds of sweetened treats. If you're looking for recommendations, I would recommend the old-time classic that everyone loves which is serenade chocolate. And it comes in many shapes and sizes. Then for other chocolates, I would recommend pure. It is the best choice. Fazer, even though it's from Finland, it's still damn good. Zephyrs is great. It's like a sour marshmallow. But for beginners not used to the taste, maybe a chocolate covered one is the better choice. Guatinha is a beloved sweet treat. But if you don't like caramel, I don't recommend it. If you are a grandma from the UK or just a lover of biscuits, Selga is a brand for you. Plus, Lachi is not only a biscuit seller, but they also have other sweets and treats. And I will definitely snatch some filled praniki since I was craving them long back in Luxembourg. For savory stuff, we have traditional brick bread crackers. Then Latvians go crazy on chip flavors, not to mention long chips popularized by Sarah Jessica Parker. 
They are just like regular chips but just very long. Then for drinks besides kvass we also have this excellent lemonade. I highly recommend it. And for a snack some cute pastries won't hurt. 5.30 am, waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta drive to the airport. My dad kindly gave me a ride. I found my gate and I started consuming my morning pudding pretzel. Oh, and I also dyed my hair and got a haircut. I like it and you don't have to. Boarded the plane and in about 5 hours I should be home with all my snacks safe and sound. And here is my snack haul from Latvia. It's so nice, it's so different with the jam. 